Hi, my name is Kurt Suizo, Glaucoma Specialist at Tower Clock Eye Center. Uh, I'd like to talk to you today uh, a little bit about CBD. Um, you probably heard these three letters uh, commonly recently. It's uh, been kind of the, the latest hot supplement for a lot of things. Um, people use it topically, they ingest it, uh, you can even vape it. Um, but it's uh, an interesting compound. Uh, it's actually what's called cannabidiol. Um, it's a component found in marijuana, um, similar to another component called uh, tetrahydrocannabinol, cannabidiol, but uh, that's THC. And um, so those two components are found in marijuana. THC is what has the psychoactive properties and can get you high, um, and uh, cannabidiol does not. Um, cannabidiol is interesting because it was recently FDA approved for a seizure disorder. Um, so it does have uh, some definite proven uh, benefits. Um, it's used a lot for aches and pains, muscles, things like that, um, as a supplement that's not regulated by the FDA. Um, but it's very interesting because some data has come out recently about CBD and eye pressure, and that's where it gets into my territory. Uh, so the interesting thing is THC, tetrahydrocannabidiol, has, or cannabinol, has been shown to reduce eye pressure. We don't use it as a treatment for glaucoma, but it does have that property. So the idea is that CBD, uh, which is again found in marijuana, but doesn't have all the psychoactive properties, might be kind of like THC light. So maybe we'll get some benefit without all the downside. Let's go ahead and use it. Why not? What harm can it do? And up until about six months ago, that was my position was, hey, look, if you wanna use some CBD, that's just fine. I don't think it causes any harm. But there have been some studies that have come out recently actually showing that CBD has the opposite effect of THC on eye pressure. Um, there were patients, it was a relatively small study, but there was a statistically significant elevation in eye pressure after these patients were administered CBD. Uh, interestingly enough, the same study did reproduce some earlier findings showing that THC reduced eye pressure, but it had the interesting, um, they found some new interesting data showing that uh, there was a greater drop in males than in females, so there's probably some kind of um, uh, difference there uh, from a genetic standpoint. Um, so there's a lot that we don't understand, but CBD uh, turns out to probably not be quite the benign um, uh, compound that I once thought it was. So this is now something I talk to my glaucoma patients about. If they ask me, hey look, are there things I can do to help my glaucoma? Are there things I might be doing to harm my glaucoma? I will ask them if they're using CBD, and if they are using a CBD product, I'll usually encourage them to stop.